While electric vehicles are disrupting the automotive world, EVs alone won't truly disrupt our society or the entire economy. But when you pair EVs with another disruptive technology, self-driving vehicles controlled by very powerful computers, it will be completely transformative. Sooner than most people think, you'll be able to hail an electric self-driving vehicle via an app on your phone, just like you hail Lyft and Uber today. And this is TAS, which stands for Transportation as a Service. TAS will essentially mean a fleet of electric autonomous cars that can go 500 or more miles without charging, which can go more than 100,000 miles a year with little maintenance. It's basically how Uber and Lyft operate today, but with electric driverless vehicles. You'll be able to hail different types of vehicles for whatever you need. A small car for a quick trip, a luxury vehicle for a long ride, a truck if necessary. There will soon be fleets of electric driverless vehicles on our streets, ready to be hailed from your phone at a moment's notice. Estimates are that TAS will reduce the total cost of transportation by 10 times compared to owning your own vehicle. TAS could soon drive down our cost of transportation to just 10 cents or less per mile. Today it costs about 80 cents per mile in our gas-powered cars, according to AAA. Think about that. I could soon walk out of my Manhattan home and comfortably ride to the nation's capital in a TAS vehicle for less than $25, or even less if I'm willing to share the car. Today, with a private car or Amtrak, it costs me five times as much. And instead of paying $50,000 for a new car, plus $3,000 a year to fill up your tank, and $1,000 to $4,000 a year for insurance, you'll instead spend something like $150 a month for unlimited rides with a TAS subscription. This will disrupt the entire economy. As Tony Seba reports, I have looked back at disruptions going all the way back to Gutenberg. Every time there's a 10x improvement in cost for the same product or service, there's been a major disruption. Every single time. I know of no case where 10x improvement did not lead to disruption. Now, before you dismiss TAS as a crazy idea, Keep in mind that the first task services are already in place and operating today. Right now, Google's driverless car division, called Waymo, has self-driving cars all over Phoenix. There's no driver at all. It's a completely automated ride in an electric vehicle. You just download the Waymo app or use Lyft to hail a driverless ride. Thousands of people are using this service every day, and they've completed more than 100,000 total driverless rides. ARK Invest predicts that once Waymo has expanded its Phoenix fleet to 80,000 vehicles, it could address half of the city's travel needs. A company called Aptiv has also partnered with Lyft and has provided 100,000 autonomous rides in Las Vegas. It serves more than 3,400 hotels, restaurants, entertainment venues, and the Las Vegas Convention Center. They'll soon start picking up riders at the airport as well. Aptiv also has autonomous vehicles operating in Boston and Pittsburgh. In San Jose, California, Mercedes-Benz and Bosch have launched autonomous ride-hailing vehicles that will take riders between West San Jose and downtown. This is the future, and the future is already here right now. TAS is going to be rolling out all over the country sooner than you can imagine. And here's the thing. This is all going to have incredible, life-changing impacts on the world around us. Consider. Did you know that every year in America, around 40,000 people die in car crashes and another 4 million are seriously injured? Worldwide, more than a million people die in car crashes each year and another 50 million are injured. But these figures could plummet by at least 80% and eventually 90% or more with TAS because 95% of accidents are caused by human error. It will be the equivalent of one of the greatest medical breakthroughs in history for both the number of lives it will save and the injuries it will prevent. Yes, there have been accidents with autonomous vehicles, and there will surely be more. But keep in mind, every day in America, more than 100 people die on the roads with humans behind the wheel. And Waymo has driven 20 million autonomous miles on real roads in the real world and has not had a single serious accident. The next generation in America will look back with horror at how we allowed so many people to die and suffer serious injuries from traffic accidents with humans behind the wheel. Today, some families have to spend as much as 40% of their household budgets on transportation, but not for long. 
Think about the boost to our economy when families have an extra $6,000 back in their pocket each year. It's going to inject more than a trillion dollars into the U.S. economy alone. And think about what all of this means for individual car ownership. It will soon disappear, except for those who love driving their cars on special roads for fun. In fact, look at this chart. Right now, 2020 is projected to be the year of peak car individual ownership. The same thing will happen to today's gas-powered cars that happened to horses 100 years ago. They'll become an expensive luxury for wealthy folks who enjoy them in their spare time, off the major thoroughfares. You have to realize that today, cars are our biggest economic waste because we use them just 4% of the time. With TAS, there will be a huge reduction in the number of cars on the road. Some say the number of cars we'll need will drop by 80%. Many automakers will go out of business as a result. Over the next few years, you do not want to own traditional indebted car companies like GM. You also do not want to own most publicly traded car dealerships or car lenders like Santander and Consumer USA. Nor do you want to own companies that sell personal car insurance like Progressive or Allstate, or focus on repairing or servicing them like AutoZone, Midas, or Precision Tune Auto Care. And that brings me to... Without individual car ownership, traditional parking lots as we know them today will be all but eliminated. Task fleets will retreat to cheap parking in inexpensive locations for recharging or service or during low demand times like the middle of the night. So think about this for a second. Imagine a world in which nearly all of the parking lots located on prime land can be converted into new offices, housing, businesses, parks and playgrounds, and other useful spaces. It's mind-blowing. Did you know, for example, that approximately one-third of the land of some cities is occupied by parking lots? According to one estimate, all of the parking space in Los Angeles alone is equal to three cities the size of San Francisco. Closer to home, think about what you could do with the space you currently use for parking cars. Your garage could be converted into a great new living space, for starters. But some in industries are going to suffer dramatically, of course, as all this unfolds. In the coming years, everything that moves will be electric and autonomous. Not just cars, but also delivery trucks, buses, tractors, wheelchairs, forklifts, farm equipment, and even scooters, bikes, motorcycles, and boats are now testing electric power. In fact, the Boeing-backed and JetBlue-backed startup called Zunum Aero is working on planes and helicopters that will use electric power and will debut in the next year or two. An airline called Harbor Air, which operates short flights in British Columbia, is adding a battery-powered plane to their fleet, and the company's CEO says all its planes will eventually be electric. A construction equipment company called Komatsu recently announced a small electric excavator. Stena Line, which operates ferries between Sweden and Denmark, is rolling out battery-powered ferries. This is going to have the biggest impact of all on one huge industry, oil. The entire industry, starting with the high-cost producers like Canada's oil sands, is going to get crushed. Oil won't go away entirely, of course, but demand will fall significantly. The long-term price of oil could get cut in half to around $25 a barrel. And that brings me to perhaps the most important thing you need to think about overall. This disruption is going to have a massive domino effect on so many industries and aspects of our lives. For example, states and municipalities that rely on parking fees, car and gas taxes, and traffic violations for large parts of their budgets are going to have to completely rethink their revenue sources. Chicago collects more than $250 million per year in parking tickets alone. Los Angeles collects more than $140 million. And New York collects more than $500 million. All of this city revenue is going away. Real estate values will shift too. Soon there will no longer be a big discrepancy between neighborhoods that have good access to public transportation and those that don't. Houses in high-density neighborhoods that come with private parking will no longer sell for a premium. Travel for the young and the elderly will be much easier, safer, and more affordable than ever. Most Americans soon won't need car insurance at all. The used car market will plummet too. Soon you may have to pay someone to take a gas-powered car off your hands. The major changes for our society are just mind-boggling, and again, they are already starting. Don't think for a minute that this is too far in the future to think about. It's happening right now. 
The domino effects from this trend are enormous. Just like the smartphone inspired dozens of new apps and uses, task driverless systems will do the same. IKEA, for example, is working on an autonomous electric powered office on wheels so you can work or meet while heading down the road. And the rollout is going to happen across America much faster than most people think. People always overestimate how long a revolutionary breakthrough like this will take to reach massive scale. And that's the big mistake many are making today, too. Let me show you what I mean.